Watch this. <laughs> this little flick brown. That is my biggest snook by far, dude. Yeah. That's a lot. Oh. This one's huge. Look at how good this is. Today we'll be targeting Big Snook underneath docks, one of Florida's most prized game fish with the Chase Baits Flick Prawns on super heavy tackle. Here at the ramp. That's her boat. Just kidding. <laughs> Someone else's boat. Got some mullet right over here. But the dock is literally underwater. It's insane. The flooding in Miami is happening everywhere in Florida or something right now. I don't know. Hey, we over here on Garrett's boat today. Alright. Keep on fishing this dock line a little bit. Oh, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Is that tarpon? Yep. For real? Might be snook. Let me see if we can double up. Not as big as I thought. What is it? It's a sheep's head. Sheep's head. Oh, nice, dude. That may it. Oh, you're going to need that. I've, I've, it's been a long time. That's a keeper. No, bro. That's literally a keeper sheep's head. Bro. First cast, dude. Look at those teeth, bro. This is crazy. They'll cut your whole hand off, bro. <laughs> they got, like, human teeth. There's something on this one. That's beautiful, dude. First fish of the day, a little keeper sheep's head all day. Hey. Not keeping them in the day. Nope. That's a really good eating fish, though. It is. Oh, this dock's right here. No, no, this is good. This is good. This is good. Watch this. Watch this. All right. I don't really think that. Oh, got one, dude. Oh my god. Watch your rod. Shit. My bad. Oh my god, dude. I missed him, bro. It's like as soon as it hit the water, my rod was still under the dock. The water is muddy enough to where they'll hit it with 80. Dude, the koozie like matches my shirt and fucking everything. Bro. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's just. Oh, got one. Nice one, dude. Yeah. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Oh, nice snow, dude. I'm good with that. On the artificial. Okay, I need to get off. This is kind of hard, but I think we're gonna get him. He's stuck on something? Yeah, he's, he's like... stuck on something. He may be off. Do you want to freeline him or? No, he's off. He's, he's, off. he's off it. Nice. He's wrapped. He's wrapped. He's wrapped. He's, wrapped. he's out. He's, he's out. out. He's, he's out. not that big, but. He's a nice fish, dude. <laughs> nice. nice. Told snook. you, dude. Nice snook. nice snook. Dude, that looks like slot almost, bro. That is probably slot right Holy there. Shit. Told you, you need that 80 to get him out of there. Whoo! On the flick prawn. Look at that. Do you see how deep they go back there, bro? It's intense. All right, I'm gonna see how long she is before we get her back in the water. What's the slot? 28 to 32. She's 26, 27. The biggest one I caught last time I was here was 28, so. But that was awesome, dude. It's awesome, dude. Hell yeah. Even the little guys fight freaking yeah. hard. That hook shit right in the corner. This little flick brown. Thing crushed it. First blood is not a catfish. <laughs> oh, there she goes. They take a while to revive, bro. There we go. It's good as new. Ready to catch another one. Look at how afraid that 80 is. Bigger fish could probably break this area. Yeah, literally the entire thing is frayed. That's the T 
picking though, dude. We weren't fishing anything heavier than like 50 or 60 last. Alright. Get a better cast right here. Alright, let's try this. Alright. Oh, that's what I needed right there. Alright, I'm probably gonna get one. Watch this. Yep. Oh, it came off. I told you, bro. I was like, that was it right there. <sighs> Might tighten my drag up a little bit. <sighs> Heart attack. Three, two, one. All right, let's try this again. That wasn't a tarpon though. I don't know what happened to the tarpon. Dude. That was definitely a snug. We are retied here at the 80. Super simple rig. Get ready to hold on. Little guy. You don't need that, do you? No. It was off this dock in front of us. That's dope. Nice Got one? Nice one. Nice one. <gasps> oh my yeah, god! Man, oh. oh my god! You said it was a sheep's head, bro. Dude, you were lying. That's gnarly, bro. Here, oh me. my gosh, I just tossed that snook back in so quick. Oh. I think it was worth it, though. <laughs> Oh yeah. Like yummy. Oh yeah. I almost wish we were keeping them today. I know, dude. I've been seeing that. Next time we're getting a cooler, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Do a little cool. catch and cook video. That's a good giant freaking sheep's head. Did I not call it, bro? Like my cast. You're like that you chomped shit it in half. Like, yeah, bro, That's a like, sheep's head. Yeah. Because like... they got a big ass mouth, dude. They're not gonna peck at it. They're just gonna. <laughs> Sometimes they spit it out if they hold it too long. But you got the scent too. Ooh, deadly. Look like some dock masters right now, dude. Little little one. Oh, it's a trout though. That's a gator trout. Dude. Oh yeah. I thought it was a snook for sure. Sweet. Nice oh, gator. I took the shrimp. Damn, the shrimp yeah. flew off or something. That's about the size of your catting them the other day. Yeah. That's a nice fish, though. Nice pictures, dude. Nice pictures. There's probably a few trout under there. <laughs> There's that flick prawn. Still got the shrimp. I thought I was going to have to lose them. Sweet. That's good eating right there, too. So near catching some croakers. Another one. This is literally like perfect size and everything. Aerator's still going. We don't have any floaters. I'd say we got like, oh, there's another one. <laughs> Put my rod down for two seconds, dude. All right, we got like a dozen. Right, explain what we're doing here. So I literally just caught like 15 croakers with a hook. <laughs> And uh, let me show you what size they are here. Is this like, it's like this little size croaker here. Perfect little size. You got probably like 15 of those. And here's, good my, here's, here's the rig we're gonna be using. We're gonna have a float and then up we got, we got a rattling weight that actually has rattles in it. 
and then we got an 80 pound leader and we'll put a six ot uh, owner inline circle on the bottom of it. Should be really good for Goliath as well as Snook, maybe the passive red drum um, or black drum too, you know, black drum you really want the crabs, but this could definitely turn them on. You never know, we're in the area for it. Sun's going down, might even find some glowing green lights, you never know, we're gonna switch on the night cam. Sweet. Still got three hours of video. Well, more like two, but. Figured we might as well turn it on for this. Croakers are gonna get crushed. So they couldn't even ask for better bait. Dude. Yeah. Better than that. These are better than mullet. Way better than mullet. I've never really fished with them before, but they're supposed to be like legendary, dude. They are kind of a delicate fish though, so try to like just pitch them on the very edge of there. That's a monster, dude! Oh, he's out of there already, bro! On, on, yes, on. sir! <laughs> Woo! This is like my biggest snook. Do you see how far he went, bro? Whoa. We gotta go get him, dude! Dude, hell yeah, bro! Did that press from? On the croaker. Oh my god, I feel the weight of this Camera freaking up. fish. Oh yeah, it, freaking hook set and everything, dude. I got team motor. I got team motor. I'm so lucky. Oh, he's he's turning around, bro. He's turning around. Oh my god, this is a giant freaking snook. Oh, on the 80, dude, we're Gucci. We are straight. Oh my god, this is PB snook right here. Oh my god! Oh! He's going back. This is PB, bro. PB, bro. PB, bro. This is an over slot fish. Okay, just keep pressing, keep pressing. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, I got, I got him. I got him still. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Oh my I'm, god, I'm dude. Him. I feel him shredding that leader, bro. I'm gonna loosen up on him a little bit. Careful. I'm just gonna be slow with him because I, I did put some heat on him. First freaking dock, bro. Oh my god. He's huge. Do you see this thing, bro? Oh my god. I'm getting a. I'm shaking, dude. This is insane. Oh god damn it. Oh sh. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh my god. On the flipping stick. Oh my god. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. Oh my god. He's not ready, though. Just give him a minute. Oh my god. Wait until he's like all the way up because yeah. as soon as he sees it he's going back Ooh. Ooh. don't break me please god please god please god please god please god oh my gosh this is amazing this is the oh. biggest snook i've oh. ever caught oh ever yeah seen. by far dude this is the biggest snook i've ever seen bro this is like the one i lost the other day bring him up, bring him up. oh my god dude oh my god. yo get him get him bro oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. oh my god <laughs> are you kidding me bro are you kidding me the first freaking flip in the croaker bro what the dude Bro, that's 20 pounds, bro. <laughs> oh. What the frick, dude? That is my biggest snook by far, dude. Oh, yeah, get a video God. with the light, dude. Look at this freaking monster on the measure. She's 34, every bit of 34. Bad ass, bro. Over slot monster. Dude, I'm sorry, but I have just got to get a picture with this. <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> but you seen it here. You knew who caught this thing. Yes. <laughs> we gotta get some more of these, dude. Sick. Here, I'll, I'll push this out a little bit. Hold on. 
one last look at her. Yeah, we're like all up in these mangroves. Yeah, I'm just gonna get her up in somewhere. Got a reviver good. Thing plopped in the water, dude. That was a long freaking fight, so she's probably gonna be really exhausted too. Just gonna revive her good. I'm gonna turn it over and look at that thing. I'm just like blown that's, away. That's I'm amazing, like, dude. That is amazing. How big this thing is. Look at that. That's the biggest snook of my life. This is ridiculous, dude. I have the whole fight on the GoPro. Incredible, bro. It's so weird too, cause like I feel, like if you feel the inside of their mouth, their lips are really freaking, they're really abrasive, but they're not much more than a bass. So like, I think what breaks it is just like their jaw power, like they can, or their gill plates even. I said those hooks wouldn't work, bro. Uh, dude, that's awesome. <laughs> like, switch up the circles, bro. <laughs> I was like, I gotta keep this on. Five more minutes. Oh, man. I always tell people they're like cheetahs, bro. Like, they can run super fast, short amount of time, and you let them go, and they're basically, like, exhausted. There she goes. Right back under there. Under that dock, dude. All right, careful with this. Let's, yeah, go. Dude, awesome. let's go get some. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go get some Goliath groupers now. Hey. <laughs> So we did actually try the bridges for a little bit for some Goliath grouper after that, but we didn't have any luck. We just threw out some big croakers and caught some giant sail cats. So we didn't really put that part in the video, but we had a great day out in the water in the daytime, slaying some snook underneath the docks. Just wanted to show you guys the rig that I was using out there today. Garrett was mainly using a popping fork with fly shrimp, but for the big snook, I was fishing this rod right here. We've got our Casking Kodiak 4000 right here with 50 pound Casking braid on there. I only like to fish 50 pound and higher when I'm fishing underneath docks and around a lot of sharp structure like that. You can break off easily on the barnacles, on the pylons, stuff like that, especially when you're fishing super deep under there. And we've got 80 pound leader attached at the end. We've got our Chase Baits Shrimp uh, Flick Prawn. This thing is a fantastic all around bait for everything guys, inshore, everything will eat this little flick prawn. And we've got it on our 80 pound mono leader because if you're fishing underneath docks, you need nothing less than 80 pound if you're fishing for big snook. I've learned it the hard way too many times and it's not worth fishing anything lighter. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun out in the water. I'll have a link in the description below for the whole setup here, the line, the bait, the full combo. So make sure to check that out in the description below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell so it'll let you know whenever I post a new video. And make sure to leave a like on this video because it really, really does help, guys. And comment below whatever you think we should do next. Anyways, guys, tight lines. And until next time, stay fishing.